Hey y'all, it's Nathan here with the Garrett Racing Team. I want to welcome you back to our race shop. If it's your first time here, guys, thank you for coming and checking us out. If you enjoy short track racing, NASCAR, high performance automotive vehicles, classic cars, and anything that deals with racing, race cars, and cars in general, then you're in the right place. And y'all, if you're coming back out and checking us out again for a second, third, or tenth time, thank y'all. It really makes the difference. All your returning viewers and everybody that's helping out spread the word and getting this channel to where it's growing, uh, getting the word out of our race team, it really does make the difference, guys. I really do appreciate it. So tonight, guys, I want to talk about my open wheel modified. We kind of had a few weeks where we did a few different things, but I'll get back into the open wheel modified and racing. This past Friday, guys, May the 6th, we were supposed to race. Uh, the Cars Tour guys were coming in. They were going to do a, a big show, the Tour and Late Model guys. Pretty awesome event. 20 plus late model stock cars there. Some of the best in the country racing. They were going to be there with us. Um, and again, with our regular show with the Modifies and everybody else that was going to show up. Unfortunately, Mother Nature had other plans. Rained us out on Friday night. Uh, we thought we may could have got it in on Saturday. So they rescheduled for Saturday. Uh, pulled to the track, sitting there. Uh, before we could get unloaded, got all our tires mounted, everything ready to go before we could get the car unloaded. Uh, unfortunately, the bottom fell out again, and it started at about 3.30, 4 o'clock and did not stop. When they finally called the event at about 6.30 that night. So uh, kind of a big bummer, y'all. I, I was really hoping to have some footage for y'all of us at the racetrack, racing, turning some laps, and uh, just kind of showing what this machine can do. But unfortunately, like I said, the weather had other plans, so... Not sure when the makeup date is yet, so we'll, uh, we'll let you know when that comes around. But instead of keeping you waiting for some race, actual race footage, I do have some video shots that I have from maybe a year or so ago that I wanted to share with you. So we were racing at Ace, uh, was, I think late in the year, probably September or so, and uh, had this car uh, up front. I think we were running about third that night and uh, racing for third place. Guy got underneath me. And my car was already a handful. Looked like what some guy I know described as swatting flies. When you're in there driving the steering wheel and, you, and you're jerking back and forth and uh, just trying to keep the thing underneath you, turning right to go left type of thing, um, it, it was a handful. And when the guy got under me, coming off of turn two, we bumped wheels and it actually shot me into the wall, uh, turn two wall, ended up tearing the right front off the car. Had to get all that replaced, but I've actually... Uh, I've got some footage of, of the actual wreck, uh, pictures of what it tore up, and I'll go over kind of what it cost and the time frame it took me to get this thing back together. But luckily, we were able to get it back together and go to the Rodney Cook race they had uh, in October and had a very good outing then, guys. Qualified second, uh, ended up finishing fourth that day, probably should have finished third. We were a lot faster than third place, but just kind of got shuffled around on some of the restarts. But I want to show you some of that since we did not get to race this Saturday, y'all. We will get there. We will get to the track. Thank you for y'all's support. If you hadn't already, hit that like button, share, subscribe. Anything that can help our YouTube channel and Facebook pages out really does make this car get faster. Uh, and everything is located under the Garrett Racing Team. And also, if you got a comment, put it in that comment section. I always reply back to everybody that comments on there. Any questions, anything you've got an input on, really does make it interesting, y'all. Thank you. I hope y'all enjoy this ride. All right, y'all, this is us getting prepared to go out for the race, setting tire pressures that night. And here we go, getting ready to take the green flag, cleaning that carburetor out, getting on the throttle. Got my hand up here on the gear shift. All right, guys, green flag, shifting from third to fourth, heading down into turn one on the first lap, let third place get underneath me. Gonna sit there and settle out. Just kind of ride it out, see how the car is going to do on this first few laps. Watch my hands. Just, uh, just trying to be up on the wheel. Restarts are about the best time you can make up speed to pass people if you've got the chance. The car got a little loose there. Saw one on it. Still a little bit loose coming off the corner. Swatting him flies. <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> I 
but eventually we start getting settled in. Um, the car's still kind of loose, but the tires, you know, have to get up the temperature and, and all that. But as you'll see, we kind of start getting a little more settled. Our hands will be a little more steady coming off the corner. Pretty good that lap coming off turn four. And I'm gonna tell y'all, people say driving a race car ain't a sport and uh, doesn't do much to stay working out and everything, they're wrong. You'll be out of breath at the end of a race when a car is driving like this, so. All right, y'all, we're gonna show a little slow-mo here during the race. Getting back to it here in the end car shot. I believe down here in turn, going into turn one, a fourth place gets underneath me, and this is the wreck. Bounce off the wheels, right in the right front of the wall. Happened just that quick, y'all. Boom, boom, you're sitting there. Bust my radiator, you'll start seeing the steam come up right there. Uh, what I'll do now is just kind of catch my breath, look around. Didn't really hurt or anything. Throw my window net down to let everybody know I'm okay. Um, and more or less sit there until the man with a big hook comes. As y'all can see, it doesn't take much to get into bump ups out there on the track. Especially with the open wheel cars, when you uh, bump wheels, it's something that can really shoot you anywhere on the track because you got the rotation of the wheel being out there. I mean, I've even seen guys kind of jump from that, but it can be a bad deal. But um, anyways, I'm going to show you some photos of some of the stuff we tore up, but ended up actually having to uh, get a new bumper. Um, the front frame horn, you'll see that it's removed in these photos. Uh, it's gone. Um, and the radiator, obviously had to get a new one of those. Uh, upper control arm, lower control arm, spindle. Um, luckily, my hub and my brake rotor and caliper assembly, all that seemed to be all right. I'm actually still running it right now. Uh, no issues with that. New sway bar, new sway bar arm coming off the right-hand side, new shock. When the tire basically broke loose when it folded up, it went into my header on the right-hand side, crushed it, so I had to get a new header and then it hit my right side Nerf bar and kind of shoved it in, which you'll see in some of these photos as well. Um, really wasn't a fun thing to be a part of. Getting in wrecks is always the most expensive thing in racing. I mean, that's having to repair things and then get the car back to where it was and in decent shape uh, is always, always an ordeal. So nobody ever wants to do it, but if you're gonna race and you do it long enough, you're gonna get into some incidents out there on the track. Um, as you get more experience and stuff, most of the time that kind of eliminates, but you still will get into stuff. It's probably been a year or two since I'd actually tore up anything major, so uh, I was about due for something, I guess. Um, but anyways, to kind of go over some of the costs on some of this stuff, upper control arm, probably 100 bucks, lower control arm, another 100 bucks, uh, your shock assembly, 200, uh, probably your sway, arm, sway bar arms, I would I think those were probably 60, 70 bucks. Sway bar was probably about 60 bucks. The front horn that the radiator sits in, I think was about 300. Uh, radiator, uh, again, about 300. Um, and then your spindle is again, another 300. Header, I wanna say that header was probably about, I think it was about 200, because we, we run those mild steel. By the time you add up all this stuff, guys, you're looking at, $1,500 to $2,000 just in that one right side. Luckily, I've got some connections with people and I do a lot of the work myself. I didn't have to pay nearly that much. Uh, out of my pocket, I probably spent 500 bucks to get my car back together. Uh, and that was because I had a lot of these parts already. I bought spares and stuff from people that were getting out over the years at a very discounted rate. Was able to get it all placed back together and be you know, back to where I needed to be. Luckily, the car, didn't have any uh, clip damage. And what I mean by that is where your suspension and stuff connects. None of that stuff got tweaked or bent because when I put all my new suspension components back on, it all lined back up where I needed it to be. Um, nothing was out of whack, nothing out of shape. So we got lucky on that end, just had to replace that front frame horn. But again, y'all, really nothing fun to do. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but some of the sheet metal on the front end has got some hammer marks, dents and dings in it. I didn't get any new sheet metal. I just took what I had, put it on the uh, concrete floor with a 
flat hammer, some wood, and just beat the dents and stuff back out of it and reformed it. Uh, if you're right up on it, you can see the damage and stuff still, but out there on the track and in photos, you can't tell it. That doesn't make a car go fast anyways. So I made do with that, and then uh, the fiberglass hood got busted up as well. Uh, but luckily, uh, uh, my in-laws do uh, body work. So Melvin Shelton, thank you for helping me get that patched up. You, uh, you the man on that. So, uh, but guys, just from a time frame, from the time I got tore up until it was back together, about two weeks, which put us in contention for running the Rodney Cook race that fall. Uh, the Rodney Cook race is a very special event that they hold at Ace Speedway. Uh, Rodney was a very, very good driver there at Ace, uh, very good with the community out that way. And unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago with cancer. And, and to remember him, they do a yearly memorial race for him at the end of the season, just kind of a big, a big, you know, end of, end of the season event just to kind of wrap things up. So always some of the best guys around running in that. Guys ended up qualifying second for that race, uh, ran top three most of the day on a late restart, got shuffled back to fourth. So missed out on the podium finish, was sucked, but we'll, uh, we'll get there as we uh, keep improving. So I want to show you some of this stuff right now. So here's some of the practice that we were doing that day. Uh, we got Roy Cook here running in front of me in the orange car and uh, Randy Butner there in the white 71, just turning some laps. Um, and this was after I had got the car back together, so I was curious as how it was going to drive. And as you watch, the car seems to be doing fairly good. Just getting my feet back underneath me after being involved with that a few weeks prior. Getting the car underneath me, getting the tires warmed up, and starting to feel pretty good. The front end's setting where I think it should be. Turns three and four at ace for me are always the trickiest. Especially hitting the apex, perfect, because if you don't, it screws the whole turn up. So here we come. I'm like, man, this car is driving pretty good to be wrecked two weeks ago like that. This thing's getting around here, y'all. Feeling good, got that left side wheel right there on that white line. Really making it happen. Wanted to show you, this is us after qualifying for the Rodney Cook race sitting outside pole. Here's some of our lap times right behind Monk Tate's 88 car. And here's a restart here at the beginning of the race, us outside pole. Sorry for the video quality, y'all. It's about the only one I can find of this, of this race showing us where we were running. We fit, settled into third right then and uh, just kind of riding the laps out until we had a late late caution. I think we could have finished second probably that day. We weren't quite good enough to win, but uh, we were right there with them, as you can see. All three of us bunched up there. And here's at the uh, beginning of the race, outside pole, y'all. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Again, guys, I really want to get some more footage of us at the track because I think that's what a lot of people are interested in. I know I am. Uh, just showing how the cars get around there, the exciting footage, especially not only from the inside, but outside of the car. You can see us get up on the wheel, drive this thing, and uh, get around the racetrack. So, y'all, if you've stuck with me so far through this whole entire video, thank you, thank you, thank you. It really does make the difference. I really appreciate it. Uh, Garrett Racing Team is making progress. We are making the car faster. We are working, getting everything together. Uh, and I'm hoping to have some events here soon, even with this deal, maybe some car shows and stuff that I might pull this to. And uh, I'm thinking about getting some t-shirts and hats made. Y'all let me know in the comments section if you would like a t-shirt or a hat uh, with the Garrett Racing Team logo on there, GRT. Uh, maybe something with the, with the modified as well. That's something that I want to do just for my team members that help me out. 
uh, and just to wear around as a branding thing for me. I, I mean, shoot, why not wear my own stuff, right? Uh, but guys, let me know about that, what you think in the comments section, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So until next time, y'all be safe, y'all be good, enjoy the ride. Thank y'all.